Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm shooting this video to show off one of the latest additions to my home shop, and uh, it is a Giraffe Tools Grand Falls pressure washer. This guy right here. This morning I got it all mounted up on the wall, and I got everything hooked up. So I'm going to take you through my home shop um, Basically, my pressure washer deionized water situation. As you can see, I'm completely unorganized when it comes to just random stuff I test out here in the garage. Um, so, as you guys know, I have my deionized water tanks. I get them from Culligan Water, which used to be all Florida water. Um, they come out every 12 weeks or so and they swap out my tanks for brand new tanks. So that's my home system. I have a mobile system, uh, deionized water system, uh, that I'm working on putting together. I just finally got the uh, soft topper and the bed rug in the bed. Now I'm going to start doing my, uh, my build out. But because we use this truck for a lot of more things than just detailing, I'm not going to permanently mount anything. But with all that said, yes, I am getting ready to shoot the video on the um the brand new wow factor colored snow foams uh but so the draft tools grand falls pressure washer is pretty nice uh it has a hundred hundred feet of hose um it's a small compact unit that's wall mount uh the on off switch is right here the water inlet hose is here um or the water inlet is here um, I did add this elbow, all of these fittings, the splitters, um, all of that. And let me explain it to you. So what's going on here is I bypassed the deionized water system so that I can turn uh, the fresh water and the deionized water. I can, I can run them both separately through the pressure washer by just bypassing it. So what we have here is I got my water going in. I am going to... Uh, plumb a, a line uh, through my uh, cinder blocks there uh, out to where the outlet is, the uh, spigot is. But for now, I'm just running it into the garage until I get around to doing that. Um, <clears throat> so I've got my water inlet, okay? This is where the water comes in. Then I've got it wide off right here with ball valves. <clears throat> it's a Y adapter with ball valves. So right here, this Flexzilla patch hose goes up to this other Y where I have this ball valve here for the water open. The one for the DI is closed. So this one's open. This one here is open. And so it is just fresh water, just tap water coming out of the spigot going into the pressure washer right now. So... Okay, the pressure washer is not on. But if I wanted to run deionized water out of this, I would, I would uh, turn the fresh water off here, turn the fresh water off here, and that is going to stop the fresh water from getting in here. Then when you've turned your fresh water off, you'll open the valve for the DI water right here. And as you can see, this comes out of the, so there's an A and a C tank. Uh, so basically, uh, with the deionized water situation, the water goes into the C tank, it comes out of the A tank into the pressure washer. So if we had it set up opposite, where this was open, this was closed, this would give us fresh water into the DI tank, okay, all the way into here. That goes in there, filters out, comes out. This one goes into the A tank, goes in there, filters again, and then comes out into the pressure washer, okay? So I've set up my own bypass, essentially, so that I don't have to unhook and hook up everything uh, as we go. So right now, and for your initial rinse, you should use regular water, and then when you do your final rinse to rinse the soap off, when you're going to be done, you wanna rinse with DI water. You don't do your whole wash with DI water because 
Well, it's expensive, the resin is expensive, and there's no need for it in the first part of the wash. Really only when you're gonna set it and forget it and kind of leave it to dry and then pick up the residual later. All right, so that's a little bit about my setup right there, my DI setup, and that's how it works. That's how it functions right now. Um, as far as the pressure washer goes, like I mentioned, all one unit, it is wall mountable. It has a plate that I mounted on the wall. It just slides down on top of that plate. Um, there are grooves in the back to put the wand and the power outlet and all of that. Oh, that's the other thing. It's got a six foot cord for the power outlet. I just ran an extension over here because I wanted the GFCI, the switch right here. Uh, I wanted it right by the pressure washer so that, and I've got it, see I've got it all tied up where it's not going to fall to the floor and get wet. It's going to hang right here. Um, yes, I know if I spring a leak, it's going to get wet. I'm not real worried about that. It is, <laughs> it is a GFCI and all of that, which means if there was a short, it's going to trip and power is going to be not going through it anyway. So anyway, that's where I keep the uh, power... I could probably hang it over farther. I'm not real worried about it. Anyway, so that's the uh, the power. So that comes out of the back. There is a place in the back to store the uh, plug part and the wand and all of that. So what I've done is I got rid of the wand and the fittings that it came with because they're very low quality. Um, this hose seems to be relatively low quality as well, but we shall see. So what I did was I upgraded the wand to one with all stainless steel parts and I upgraded the quick disconnects to stainless steel. Uh, that's all I did other than how I've hooked it up here. Uh, cool part is I can pull that out as far as I want it to go and uh, she's good to go. So the, I've got water going to the unit. <laughs> All right, so now I turned it on, it primed itself, it did its thing. So now what we'll do is we'll take the wand, pull some of this out of here. Okay, it stops itself. Pretty good pressure. I think this is 2000 PSI at 2.1 GPM or something like that. Um, I usually go for lower GPM because I want to use less water on mobile jobs. Uh, so anyway, I recommend upgrading the gun and your fittings and mounting it to wherever. I do have, I did purchase a different similar unit, but a uh, much, much more expensive unit. Uh, I want to say this unit was uh, retails for $299. $299.99, so 300 bucks. I bought the Comet 1700 unit that has 70 foot of hose and it's supposed to be a little bit higher quality. So anyway, I have that that I'm gonna uh, run for my mobile setup. Um, I have been using that Greenworks pressure washer and it's it's worked great for, I don't know, two years now. Um, but it's got I think it's got an internal leak or something and it just wants to run even when it's not running. So obviously that pump shuts off whenever you let off the trigger so you're not going to be burning up your pump as you're waiting like you would with a gas powered unit um it's total stop system which means it it just stops working uh and keeps itself primed um and so you're good to go one thing you do need to keep in mind of though when you do a, a deionized water setup with this bypass system um you're going to need a whole lot of uh, three-quarter inch garden hose fittings. I mean, you can see I've got female adapters, male adapters, um, all kinds of stuff. So figure it out based on what you're seeing here. I'm not going to make a list of parts because, honestly, I pulled them all out of random bins today. I didn't go buy parts. This is mostly stuff I had. I bought the splitters um and i had uh by this elbow or it just wasn't going to function properly so that's what i did uh, other than that I, I don't know anyway um what you want to watch out for though is you've got a hundred feet worth of hose for water to sit in so for example what i'm going to do now is i'm going to turn off the water 
uh, the regular water, turning that off, and I'm gonna turn on the DI water, okay? So just flip them around. There we go. All right, so what I want you to take note of is, yes, now the DI water is turned on. However, that 100 foot of hose has regular tap water in it. You have to get rid of all the tap water before it's going to become deionized water. So you gotta run it for a minute. Then it should be DI water. Got a lot of bugs on the front of this thing. It's gonna be raining for days here, so I'm not real worried about it uh, as far as cleaning the truck. But that's what you've got to do. You've got to make sure um, you run some that run the water that's in the hose out of it before you start relying on the deionized water to work properly. Uh, because obviously tap water is not filtered and what's in the hose isn't filtered, well, at all. So that's my Giraffe Tools Grand Falls pressure washer uh, and the updates I did to that uh, and my deionized water system at my home garage. Hey, thanks so much for, wa for watching these videos, guys. If you have questions for me, if I can help you in your, in your detailing endeavors, 813-846-4406. Um, I do have two DI portable deionized systems that I have basically gotten with On The Go Spotless together. Uh, we've put together these mixed bed systems that I will be offering at detailsjuice.com. Um, so I co-designed these two units. Um, they're gonna be pretty awesome if you're a mobile detailer or if you're at your home and you want to save some space. Uh, now there's mixed information about DI systems out there and most people don't know the right information. So if you've got questions about DI water or a system, please let me know and I'll answer them for you. But check out detailjuice.com. We should have them up by April 1st. Uh, it is March 11th right now. So uh, I will be putting this, vo this video up today. Um, but we should have the two DI systems up. One's $2.99. And one's $3.99, and they're both, um, they're both, uh, they both include shipping, is what I'm saying. Those prices include shipping. So uh, one will flow, I think, 300 gallons, uh, and then the other one, I believe, will, will flow 450. Uh, I'll have all the specs on detailjuice.com when I actually put the products up, uh, but we are almost ready to launch that. Uh, but like I said, they should be up with no question by April 1st. Um, this will, and they are mixed bed systems where you, I just showed you, I have two tanks, an A and a C. Well, we were able to blend the two types of resin together to get a mixed bed situation, which means you only need one tank. I'll just give you a quick glimpse of the small tank. This is the small, my mobile rig tank right here. It's nine inches in diameter and I think it's 22 inches tall. Very small. Anyway, so... That's a little glimpse of the small system. Uh, I will have that one and uh, one larger system uh, that'll be roughly twice the flow. Uh, so whether you're mobile or you've only got a little bit of space in your garage, these are gonna work awesome for you. Uh, but let me know if you've got questions about the units. I can expedite something if you are interested. Uh, if you want DI water, I can hook you up. So anyway, check out detailjuice.com on April 1st for that, but also, the spring kickoff sale is April 1st, 2022. Uh, and I do that on the same day every year, whether it falls on a weekend or not. So we're gonna do April 1st through 3rd. Uh, this year will be the spring kickoff sale. Uh, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation's group on Facebook where we talk about only my processes, my pro products and what I've got going on. But also uh, I, I do buy tiers. I give you free product for spending X amount of dollars for every sale. And I give you all of the ins and outs of what's going on and all of that. So if you want to be a part of something bigger than detailing, get into that group. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.